again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 13th of January, 2019. Article posted on CNN, Investigators Piece Together What Happened in Three Months of Jamie Close Captivity, written by Madeline Holcomb, H-O-L-C-O-M-B-E of CNN, posted on the 13th of January, 2019. Hmm. As Janie Close starts her road to recovery following her kidnapping, investigators are trying to piece together what happened during the nearly three months she was in captivity. Jake Patterson, 21, is accused of shooting and killing Jamie's parents before abducting a 13-year-old from her northwestern Wisconsin home on October 15th. Her abduction led to a search that ended Thursday when she was found alive and Patterson was arrested about 70 miles from her home. Anyone ever think of asking Jake Patterson what happened? Huh? <laughs> I mean, come on, this whole thing's just totally insane. Barron County Sheriff Christopher Fitzgerald said he does not believe her kidnapper took her across state lines. Authorities are working to track their movements over the past three months. Well, right now, we're looking for 88 days of evidence, Fitzgerald said. So we're looking for receipts, where the suspect may have been over the last 88 days. Did he take things with her? Did she go with him to the store? Did he buy clothes for her? Did he buy food, he said. Uh, officer, uh, obviously somebody bought food and somebody bought clothes. So the questions you're asking are somewhat worthless, are they not? What needs to be asked is, did she go with him willingly? Now, they said that there's no evidence that they met on social media, but they had to have met somewhere if, in fact, Jake targeted her, which is what they say he did by shaving his head to reduce any possible evidence, leaving any hair samples behind. Uh, I'm convinced that they knew each other. And personally, I believe that she ran away with him. And I believe that they had a falling out which is why she left them. I hope I'm wrong, but the pieces of the puzzle paint a certain picture. He lived two counties away from her. Their paths never crossed, other than Jake worked at the same factory that her parents did for one day. But that was earlier on. I don't see that as being any kind of a connection. But there had to have been a connection. And I believe that if they keep looking, they'll find a social media connection. They could have used aliases. Who knows? But things like this just don't happen out of the blue. And it'd also be interesting to know if she was taken advantage of over the 88-day period. I mean, that's easy enough to prove. I mean, she's a 13 or 14-year-old girl. Is she a virgin? I don't know. But these are the kind of questions that need to be answered. Would Jake just take her for companionship, for someone to talk to? I don't think so. So there had to have been a sexual kind of connection. Again, I don't know why they don't just ask him what happened, why he chose her. I don't see Jamie giving up that information on her own. And again, I hope I'm wrong. And you all know I've been wrong before. Not often, but I have been wrong before. I think when the investigations concluded, 
I think that she might find herself arrested for being an accessory to a double homicide. Again, I hope I'm wrong. We'll see. And I'll do my best to provide you with updates. I don't know why, again, someone doesn't just sit down with Jake Thomas Patterson and ask him. Why did you select her? Did you have contact with her through the internet? Was she a willing participant in the murder so she could be with you? Those are the kind of questions that need to be asked. And I don't know why they're afraid to ask them. Do you?